Hello, welcome. This is the biblical video series named Rembrandt, Light and Creation. I'm Father John Roberts. It's a pleasure to have you with us. This is a portrayal of uh, the angel leaving the family of Tobias. Rembrandt would have painted this in the year 1637. The original to this day is found in the Louvre in the Perry. And uh, we find that this relates to the passage known as uh, Tobit. And Tobit is found in the Apocrypha. And the Apocrypha is that series of historical texts between the Old and the New Testament. This is actually the second uh, video. The first one uh, talked about the character of Tobit as a righteous man and how he was always concerned that he was doing everything in accordance to God's commands and will. So he would do things uh, that put his family at stake. Uh, for example, at the time of the Pentecost, he had a soft spot for people that were dead and he wanted to give them a proper burial. But to do that on the high feast of the Pentecost, after hours, meant that he was no longer pure and it violated uh, the Mosaic command uh, that, that most Jews would have followed. So that was a troubling moment. He was blinded uh, by that episode by the sparrows. He is blind all the way up until the 12th chapter, and a lot has happened between that 4th and 12th chapter of Tobit. I'm going to read to you this passage of Scripture to tell you what happens at the end of this particular um, uh, book. In between what I'm about to read you and the video when uh, Tobit was praying to God to save his wife for stealing a goat, <laughs> what happened was he sent his only son, Tobias, against the will of his wife to go into a, uh, a foreign land because it was something that, um, that he felt strongly about. He felt that God was calling him to send his son. And there was a visitor who brought this message as well. The visitor did not announce who he was at the very beginning. He's going to reveal who he is in this chapter. But Tobias was sent. He found Sarah. And Sarah could only be wed to someone in their family. Tobias was in their family. So Tobit sent his son. His son found Sarah. And Sarah was going to die of an old age. And she had a sad story in her own right. She was actually married to seven men. And each one of those men, try not to, to, to laugh about this, but on the night of their honeymoon, seven different husbands, they all died in the bedchamber. So she was now being seen as a curse, and nobody was going to touch her. Here comes Tobias. Tobias is afraid, but his friend, who's walking with him, uh, he says, do not be afraid of this, for the Lord will have mercy on you. And long and short, Tobias marries Sarah, grafts into a wonderful family, and now he's coming back to Tobit, and Tobit is going to say the following. Chapter 12. Then Tobit called his son Tobias and said unto him, My son, see that the man have his wages who went with thee, and thou must give him more. This is uh, Ananias, the, uh, the friend traveler that Tobit sent with Tobias. And so he came back with Tobias. So Tobias said unto him, O father, it is no harm to me to give him half of those things which I have brought. For he hath brought me again to thee in safety, and made whole my wife, and brought me the money, and likewise healed you. He healed Tobit's eyes. Then the old man said, It is due unto him. So he called the angel, and he said unto him, Take half of all that ye have brought, and go away in safety. And then he took them both apart, and said unto them, Bless God, praise him, and magnify him, and praise him for the things which he hath done unto you in the sight of all that live. It is good to praise God, and exalt his name, and honorably to show forth the works of God. Therefore be not slack to praise him. It is good to keep close the secret of a king, but it is honorable to reveal the works of God. Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch you. 
Prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. For alms doth deliver from death and shall purge away all sin. Those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. But they that sin are enemies of their own life. Surely I will keep close nothing from you. For I said it was good to keep close the secret of a king, but that it was honorable to re reveal the works of God. Now therefore, when thou didst pray, and Sarah, thy daughter-in-law, I did bring the remembrance of your prayers before the Holy One, and when thou didst bury the dead, I was with thee likewise. And when thou didst not delay to rise up and leave thy dinner to go and cover the dead, thy good deed was not hid from me, but I was with thee. And now God hath sent me to heal you and Sarah, your daughter-in-law. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Then they were both troubled, and fell upon their faces, for they feared. But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise God, therefore, for not of any favor of mine, but by the will of our God I came. Wherefore, praise him forever. All these days I did appear upon you, but I did neither eat nor drink, but ye did see a vision. Now, therefore, give God thanks, for I go up to him that sent me, but write all things which are done in a book. And when they arose, they saw him no more. Then they confessed the great and wonderful works of God, and how the angel of the Lord had appeared unto them. Here is a reading. I encourage you, read these 14 chapters. It's an amazing testimony of God sending his angel Raphael to come to Tobit, heal him of his blindness, to Tobias, to give him a wife, to Sarah, who couldn't be married to anybody because she was cursed. And to Anna, who had lost, I think, a lot of faith in God. Here we see an amazing story. And it's the revelation of one of the archangels, Raphael, found only in the apocryphal readings of Tobit. I'm going to leave you with two uh, questions. The first one is, why was Tobias a blessing for Sarah? You're going to need to go back and read some of those uh, other chapters. But why was Tobias a blessing for Sarah? And secondly, do angels visit, visit us today when we are honoring God? We want to live an honorable life. And as Tobit said at the end, he praised God that he stayed true to honoring him. Even when it cost him his health, put his life, his wife, his son in peril, and all of his livelihood. How applicable is that today for us? The Archangel Leaving the Family of Tobias. This is by Rembrandt. Let it remind us to live an honorable life. I encourage each of you to read Tibet. Pray fervently that you will serve the King. And as always, go forth in the name of Christ.